Okay, it was uh, we were we were running a graveyard shift that night, and uh, um, one of the operators of the of one of the haul trucks had said he spotted a light out over the Shelbournes, which is the mountain range to the east of of, of Ely, and actually we keep an eye on those ranges because it's the snow and all that stuff, but um, someone had said he saw the light and. When I, I was down in another pit, and as when I pull, when you pull out of the pit, you go to one of these areas we call it, it's one of our dumps, and this particular dump is called the Jupiter, and the Jupiter is on the far east end of the Ruth mining operation. It's out in the Ruth section, and um, as I came up the road, I saw one of the lights. It was an orange one. It came up out oh, from behind the Shelbournes. It rose up, and then it headed down south, down the mountain range to the south, which is towards uh, Mount Wheeler. And then uh, I, made, I made my dump and then came back and went back to the shovel and came back out again. And then there was more t chatter about some more lights. And I saw the lights like three what or you, What do you mean by chatter? Uh, other people talking on the radio that they'd seen it. Um, so I just, that made me a, that, that, I made a point to keep my eye on the sky from then on, on, the, on that particular area, to see if there was more coming. And another light came out from but further north of, but behind the Shelbournes, but further north this time, came up, rose, and then it paused, and then it headed south again. And then um, there was an, a third set of lights, or light, it came up, but it was, instead of being orange like the others, this one was red it was almost like it was a rocket and like people had been chattering on the radio that they sometimes heard that the government tested missiles down that down that valley there and it actually looked like i don't know sparks coming off the tail end of it as it headed south also and this went on for like uh i was like the the lights showed up probably around 11 10 or 11, and then uh, it was like about one or two, and they were, they weren't no more. And there's no way I could hear sounds. I mean, I'm sitting in a truck with a 2,000 horsepower engine, so you're not gonna hear nothing. But um, that's basically what happened. They accelerated extremely fast. I mean, it really accelerated fast. In comparison to, um, I, I've I've been around Air Force bases. I've watched F-14s take off, and then they'll swing their wings in and then kick in their afterburners. They, these things would just outrun them in a heartbeat. And I've watched those guys, you know, with the F-14s. So they're in South Carolina, take off from that uh, Marine base out there. Those guys, they come in hot and then they take off fast, and then they'll swing their wings in and then accelerate. But these, this thing accelerated so fast, it wasn't like what I would call a normal aircraft at all. Had you ever seen anything like this previous? No. Since? No. No. There was chatter of it on another crew, but. Oh, we weren't on duty that night. Um, what night, do you recall? It was like a night or two afterwards. Okay. Because it was like it, it was like that went on for almost a week, three or four days, that this, these lights came out of from back there, and we all just took that one person's uh, explanation that they were testing rockets down that valley. They meaning the government. Okay, I got a question for you. <clears throat> now, how long have you worked at this mine? Uh, I'm one year. One year. Mm -hmm. Has anything drastically changed at the mine in the past month or two months or whatever? Something changed, like they they added amperage to the electricity. Anything that would be, you know, you wouldn't think about it, but something major changed no they just moved a couple of the big electrics out on that end of the pit big electrics the, the shovels they're 
they run on electricity instead of diesels. And they they run on I think there's seven thousand watt or seven thousand volt engines in them. And when had they moved those to that pit? Uh, they started. They moved the BE into the the East Dry Canyon, which is part of the roof pit, um, a couple of months ago. Okay, and working steady. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The first part of the range you see, um, I don't know what they call this Behind first part. McGill. Exactly. Okay. Because you have this small range, then you got success loop, and then that runs up against the Shelbournes. So you're, you're looking from, uh, you're up uh, on this range. Correct. We and sit. Looking across the valley. Correct. We sit at 7,000 foot level there at Jupiter. And you, you saw the. But you saw them come up over the Shelbournes? Come from behind it, right. Up, up behind it. Up from behind them. How far away do you, would you estimate you were? From the mountain range? I don't well, have from them. the From the, I mean, that's... I don't know how far it is. miles over there. Yeah, it is. Do you have a sense for how far these objects were? Or? No. Only that they were coming up from behind the range. They came up from behind the range. Yeah. They were not on, definitely not on this side. Like they weren't coming out of, say, success that valley that success loop sits in that that little gorge, whatever you want to call that. Mm -hmm. They were definitely coming up from behind the Shelburne's. Now, when you say that they they accelerated fast, uh, how, the Shelburne's are, are oriented basically north and south. Yeah. And so when they came up, it would up it would go up um, like twice the height of the mountain range, and then it would start accelerating south. South, how, how long did it take to get out of sight? I mean, are we talking really quick? Or? Yes, we're talking seconds. Just seconds? Seconds. And that would be covering? That would be covering miles. however wide the mountain range, uh, your, um, view, I don't know what your is. Field of view is. Up there, but, uh, that's it's, it's large. It's really large. So these things are traveling very fast? Extremely fast, yes. Sight, or did they blink off, or what? I would say just slipped out of sight. It's not like I could, because I was driving the truck. Actually, a couple times I stopped and waited for them. Thought maybe I'd get a better opportunity to see them. But you're driving the truck, so you, you, you can glimpse it, catch a view of it, and then watch it accelerate. At the same time, you know, you're, you're watching where you're going, too, as you're headed out towards the pit, or towards the dump. No, these were large diameters. Large diameter. If I held out a, I would say if I held out a dime, no, it'd have to be smaller than that. At the length of your arm. Yes. Not like that. I mean, you, it was more than a point of light. You exactly. Have, these actually had some some size to them. Okay. Steady light. Yes. Orange. Yeah. Some are red. And like that one that I saw accelerated with uh, almost like sparks, it was like an exhaust system. But what I really thought was a rocket, a missile. How many of these in total did you see? I saw three. Two of the uh, orange ones and with that red one with the tails of the sparks. And the two orange ones, were, were there separate flights? or were they Separate together? flights, okay. uh, roughly half hour, 45 minutes apart. Okay. This On the same night? Yes. Say, say that in your own words. All in the same night. And uh, this was on October 6th, what time? It was, was late at night, between 11 and 1. All of the sightings in that? Correct. All of, them took, period, so. all of them took place that real late at night, yes. Okay. You say you've never seen anything like this. I mean, you're, you, you've, you've seen aircraft in the... In the sky before. Yes. Yeah, they because they have strobes. You can't miss them. Yeah. And actually, if you're careful enough to watch the night sky, you can watch satellites pass over if you know which way to direction to to look for them. So you're you're not on, you you look up every now and then. I, mean, oh, I love looking at the night sky. The okay. you know the Big Dipper, Orion's Belt, all of that. These lights just seem to have just. I mean, it seems to be a relatively new phenomenon. Have you? 
aware of any to me of, of like, uh, to you because you've only been here for a year right some of the other guys said they've seen them around here for years come and go why are you agreeing to talk with mark and, and me tonight? um because so many of us saw it that night and when he came out we thought well maybe there is something else that needs to be discussed here 